I grew up in the Los Angeles area. I came to Iowa for law school. And I also knew someone that was coming here as well that had an influence on me. Although I like my day job, it's not my true passion. So I would work, pay my bills with criminal defense, and then in the evenings I would coach boxing. I like the fact that it's not about money. It's more about the person's liberty. And there's a certain attractiveness to criminal defense. There's something about it that grabs me. I, I I can't explain why but I like it. I deal with all different kinds of people. Some people are just good, ordinary people who had a bad day. Sometimes good people do bad things and they have a moment of weakness or a moment of stupidity. I was a fan of boxing probably since the age of around 13 or 14. I enjoyed watching it very much. I had an appreciation for the skills and I I, I found it somewhat poetic and beautiful the way they would use their intelligence and to elude punches and find openings. I found it fascinating. The first fighter to really catch my eye was Mike Tyson back in the mid to late 80s. There was something so awe-inspiring about the way he knocked out his opponents and attacked them. And even as he was attacking them, they couldn't hit him. I found myself fascinated with history and watching fights, and I decided I wanted to try it just to see what it was like. At first, it's kind of shocking to get hit. I I had been in some street fights fights, but there's a difference between like a street fight that lasts a few seconds to three minute round with a one minute rest and you're going round after round after round. It's, it's an entirely different feeling. But I enjoyed the challenge and I like the idea of learning to defend myself. Boxing is the science of self-defense. It's how to hit a person and not get hit. I least like the combination of corruption and incompetence. In fact, that's part of why I got into officiating. I thought many of the judges and referees that I saw on television were very bad. When you watch as many thousands of fights as I have, because I have a massive film collection that I've watched fights from the 1890s all the way to the present. And when you watch it as often as I have, you, you get a sense for how it's supposed to be done. And I saw a lot of referees who I didn't think did a very good job. And I said to myself, I know I can do better than them. So So that gave me the courage to get into refereeing and judging. I think I was destined to write boxing books because when I was in high school, I read a lot of boxing books and I generally found them to be lacking in what I wanted. And I got the sense that a lot of it was sort of fanciful storytelling and not necessarily the truth. It just didn't seem to have the the authenticity that I wanted. So as I got older, I decided that I was going to fill what I thought was a void. I think in some respects, boxing is an analogy for life. I mean, you have to be able to persevere under intense situations. And so the lessons that boxing teach you about staying calm under fire and working hard are valuable even in normal life. Nelson Mandela was a boxer. I mean, boxing also gives you a sense of self-defense, how to defend yourself, which also translates to confidence. It helps you overcome fear because once you've had someone come across the ring and try to knock your block off, nothing seems as scary after that.